Hello, I'm Professor James, and this is the video series for basic pattern making. In all of these videos, we're going to be doing pattern drafting flat on a tabletop. If you do not have a dress form, it's fine. You can get through all of the videos, no problem. As a beginner, I highly recommend that when you do the videos for the very first time, follow the exact same measurements that I'm using. So then you can go through the process once using the same measurements as me. And then when you go through the videos a second time, then you can use your own measurements. In the first part of the series, what we're going to do is we're going to make a basic front and back bodice. And then we'll draft a custom sleeve to fit back into that bodice, as well as doing a convertible collar. All of these are just the very basic foundation patterns that you would need as a fashion designer to start your designs. So as you go through the video series, you'll learn to make a pair of custom pants. The first time you do the video, you'll do the same measurements that I do and it'll fit back to a size 6 dress form. And then the second time you do the video, you'll use your own measurements and you can make a pair of pants that fits perfectly back to you. The pant draft that we're going to do is going to have the double dart in the front, double dart in the back. And at first it might seem like it's just kind of your basic work trousers, but eventually you can take these block slopers and then start to do drafts if you wanted to turn it into jeans or different fitting pair of pants. As well, we'll take the same exact block and then start to develop skirts from this. This series of videos is for the beginning pattern maker, but it assumes that you already know a lot about sewing and you've already made garments in the past. So for instance, if I hold up a pattern piece like this and you're not sure what this is, then this video series is gonna be a little bit too advanced for you. What I highly recommend is go to the fabric store and buy a already complete pattern follow the directions, cut everything out, sew everything up, try it on, and then you'll have a really good sense of what the pattern shapes look like and how they all fit together. If you're going through this video series for the very first time, I highly recommend that what you'll do is follow the exact same measurements that I'm gonna use here on this dress form. But then when you go through it for a second time, then you can use custom measurements based on your dress form that you have at home, or maybe it's dress form, or uh, maybe it's uh, measurements that you're using on yourself, or it could be a client of yours. For me personally, if I'm going to do all of these measurements on a private client, what I would do is I would have her wear the most common bra that she wears on a daily basis, as well as a really fitted shirt. So something that you'd wear like out to the gym or going jogging or something. Ideally what you want is you want it to be as close to the skin as possible so then when you're taking the measurements we know what would be the smallest measurements. And then later on what we'll do is we'll end up adding some ease here in the side seam and the armhole and then this garment will fit back to her so it'll be a woven garment like a dress shirt. It'll fit back to her really well. If you're going to do your measurements based on a dress form, so you might already have a dress form at home, I'll show you a few things to do to prepare your dress form and to get it ready. So for the dress form, after they finish making all of the inside part of the dress form, then they'll come back and they're going to put this muslin on top. Now they're able to sew the center front seam, the princess panels, the shoulder panels. But the one thing they can't sew is this side seam here. Eventually what happens is they put everything on and they start hand sewing the side seam all the way down. What you're going to notice on different dress forms is the side seam gets a little bit wobbly. If you look closely here at the stitching on the side seam, you can see where I have the black tape going perfectly straight up and down, but that side seam is just a little bit wobbly it might not even quite line up perfectly here to the shoulder. Also some things that happen is you might notice on mine that the shoulder seam here did not match up with the armhole plate screw point as well as this side seam here. So I eventually took some tape and made it match. Basically what I had to do was I started down here at the side seam and I held some tape up and then I looked across the room at something like a like the door 
and I was able to get this perfectly straight up and down going right across the screw point here. And then I found the correct shoulder location. Also what I did was I went ahead and I did a draft for this and then I checked the balance of the draft, the armhole, and I noticed that the uh, shoulder seam was still having some issues and I was able to just move it a little bit more forward and then come back and make sure everything was totally squared up. So the pattern draft that you're going to do with me, if you follow my exact measurements, basically what you'll do is you'll get a perfect draft on the very first time. Eventually though, when you start doing custom drafts for people, yourself, or a dress form, you will find that you might have a few issues up here in the shoulder seam and also having the side seam not quite balanced. And I'm going to show you how to correct that later during the video series. Something else that you'll notice is I have these small squares of paper on here. What that is, is at one point we need to have a measurement right here along this armhole ridge. And so I tape on a piece of paper here to show beginners how to find this armhole ridge. Basically, once that's taped on there, you can start pinching along this armhole ridge. And when you get down to this paper, you'll put a crease right inside of there. And then I've even put a little bit of some blue color pencil on there so it's easy to see that. So I've done that here as well as up on the top and then, of course, on the back armhole ridge. One other thing I want to talk about really quick is your measuring tape. So on my measuring tape, if you look here closely, you'll notice that the inches is along this top line and then it's centimeters along the bottom line. And even if I flip my tape over to the opposite side, it still does the exact same thing. So for me, I'm going to be using inches during this demo. So sometimes I'll be able to use my tape upright and other times I will have to flip my tape upside down. And mostly because I'm using this edge here that is showing the inches. So then what you'll notice is sometimes I'll be measuring from the neck heading down towards the waist and other times I'll be measuring from the waist heading back up towards the neck. As well, on the front here, when I want to measure from center front out to the armhole ridge, I'll have to hold my tape upside down. The very first videos that we're going to start now is going to be for the basic front and back waist bodice. So the front here is going to have a single dart. The back will have a double dart. We'll learn how to balance the side seam as well as the armhole. And then eventually we're going to take this single dart front and turn it into a double dart. And then we're going to turn these into your master pattern slopers that you can use for the rest of the semester when you start to develop your sleeve and collar. The techniques that we'll be using to draft this basic patterns is going to be the same that you would learn if you were working in the fashion industry or if you went to a fashion school. Eventually I'll show you all the steps where we will go from drafting on pattern, doing a test fit, then we'll come back and we'll cut and sew in muslin, do a second test fit, and then we'll finalize our patterns, turn them into oak tag, and then these will become your master patterns that fit perfectly back to this size four dress form. Eventually your goal is to have something like this for yourself. So all of the measurements would be for you. You would make a master pattern that fits perfectly back to you. And then once you start drawing your new ideas, you'll be able to come in and start manipulating these pattern pieces to do your own custom designs. And you'll know that it'll always fit perfectly right back to you.